is the most important button on your computer when it comes to your PowerPoint presentation? The answer to that question will be found in your next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom. When using PowerPoint, there's one button on your computer that's more important than the rest. If you use this button, it will help you maintain audience connection. If you don't, they could be easily distracted. What is this magical button? It's called the B button. The B button makes your screen go blank. If you haven't picked up this thread that runs through many of my tips, it's this. The audience is there to see and hear you. They want your perspective on your topic. They're not there to look at a bunch of fancy slides, videos, and special effects. When you're using your PowerPoint, again, use it to supplement your message. Your, the few words that you put up on a slide, the images, the videos, they should only add to enhance the, the point that you're trying to make. Once that point is made, the attention needs to be brought back to you, the presenter. The best way to do this is to use the B button on your computer. Here's what happens when you use that button. The screen goes black, all attention comes back to you. Far too many times I've seen most people put up a, an interesting picture, a slide, or even a video, a looped video, and I'm watching that, I'm not listening to the presenter. Never forget, you're constantly in a battle for the attention of your audience, whether it's from things going on in the audience itself, to your screen, to whatever's happening in the room next door. You always have to be aware of these things. Don't make your life harder by leaving up interesting slides or slogans that take the attention away from you and the message you're trying to convey to the audience. Here's a caveat to the use of this button. Sometimes it's not always convenient to walk over to your computer or you may not have somebody who can help you. What I do instead is I insert black slides in between my pictures, my words, etc. That way I can always advance with a clicker to a black slide after that previous one has made its point. Here's an example of that. I put up a phrase, I say it to the audience, once the point is made, I go to this slide. Or I show this image. You saw this in a previous tip. Show the image and then go to a black slide. I want them listening to me while I'm making the point. That's your tip for the day. Use the B button. Use a black slide to draw attention back to you so you've got a fully engaged audience in your PowerPoint doesn't become a distraction or the main part of the show. Talk to you on our next Daily Dose of Public Speaking Wisdom.